Everyone's talking about AI agents like they're already here, ready to run your business while you sleep. But here's the reality check. Even the most advanced AI agents today still need a human babysitter. And those game-changing autonomous agents everyone's promising, they're still mostly PowerPoint dreams. So when can you actually start using them? Let's cut through the hype and get to the truth. Hey there, future proofers. Theodore here, your friendly AI reality checker. Today we're tackling the big question. When can you actually start using AI agents in your business? Not the hyped up chatbots in disguise, but real autonomous agents. We've got two brilliant minds joining us to separate the PowerPoint promises from the practical possibilities. And trust me, you'll wanna hear this before investing in the next revolutionary AI tool. Hey you, ready for a deep dive into this whole AI agent thing? It's like everyone's buzzing about it, especially with Microsoft dropping Copilot just today. But then bam, articles pop up questioning if it's even ready. It's like AI hyped whiplash. How's an entrepreneur supposed to plan when today's game changer could be gone tomorrow? So today we're going beyond the buzzwords. What can these AI agents actually do? And how do we separate the revolutionary from the ridiculous expert speaker ready to decode this AI frenzy with me? Let's do it. It's exciting, sure, especially with Microsoft making waves, but a little skepticism never hurts. Exactly. So before we even get to Copilot, what are we talking about with AI agent? It seems like everyone's using the term, but it means something different each time. Right. It's a bit of a moving target, more than just a chatbot, though. Think of it like Gartner, those tech research folks. They say it's any system that ACTS on its own software, even a robot, it senses its environment, makes decisions based on that, like those robot vacuums dodging your furniture, but with potential to be way more complex. Okay, so definitely not just asking a chatbot to write me a poem then. Speaking of robot vacuums, one article mentioned NASA uses these multi-agent systems to keep their spacecraft clean room spotless. Who knew those little guys had such sophisticated cousins? That's the thing. In some ways, it's already here, quietly working, but people hear AI agent. They think digital assistant running their whole business, and that's a way off, but some companies are doing amazing things already. Let me put this in perspective. You know how people thought self-driving cars would be everywhere by 2020? We're in a similar spot with AI agents. Yes, they can do some impressive things, but calling them autonomous is like calling a car autonomous because it has cruise control. We're still very much in the human supervisor required phase. Like who? Give me some real world examples. Entrepreneurs love seeing that. Absolutely. Indicium, for example, they're using AI agents to build data pipelines, even suggesting code optimizations, hmm. stuff that used to take their developers forever. OK, now that's impressive. But then one article mentioned AI agents replacing entire JOBS. Should we be worried or is that just hype? It's a valid concern for sure. We can't just ignore it. This will change things. But even companies like Salesforce, they're using agents to help with coding, but they're very clear. It's about augmenting, not eliminating their developers. Their VP of AI actually said, I don't think we're gonna replace our developers. Reassuring for the coders out there. Here's what's fascinating about NASA's approach. They're not trying to build all purpose AI agents. They're creating highly specialized tools for specific tasks with careful human oversight. It's like having a really smart intern who can handle one task really well, but still needs someone checking their work. That's the reality of AI agents today. So boosting productivity, working smarter, not fewer jobs. Exactly. It's about using AI agents strategically. Tasks that are repetitive, time-consuming, prone to human error, that's where they shine, frees up humans for the higher level stuff. So instead of panicking about robots taking over, think about leveraging this to work smarter and create more value. Exactly. And that's where agentic workflow comes in. AI expert Andrew Deng talks about this. Don't think one giant AI doing it all. Break a task into smaller steps, right? Each step, you have a specialized AI agent that's great at that thing. Okay, so like assembling a team of AI specialists, each with their own skill set. Instead of one super AI, it's a coordinated effort. I like it. But that sounds really complicated to set up. Do you need to be a coding whiz to even think about this? 
that's the exciting part. It's becoming much more accessible, even if you aren't fluent in Python or anything. Platforms like Langchain, Autogen, Crew AI, they're popping up, and they're designed to make building and managing these agent workflows easier. So instead of needing a PhD in computer science, I can build my own custom AI teams, even if I don't know a line of code. That is seriously cool and potentially game-changing. It is. And this goes back to your point about managing expectations as an entrepreneur. The tech is evolving fast, but that core concept, breaking down tasks using specialized agents, no. you can start planning for that NOW. I love that you're bringing it back to my when we have agents list. It's not about waiting. It's about making our businesses agent ready, so to speak. Absolutely. Now, let's look at some concrete examples of how you can apply this, even with your list as a starting point. So let's dive into that list of yours. You mentioned wanting to automate your social media, right? Oh, don't even get me started. It's a full time job just trying to keep up with everything, you know, let alone actually creating engaging content. And that's a perfect example of where AI agents can really help. Mm -hmm. Imagine having an agent, right? dedicated to monitoring those conversations, figuring out what's trending, even suggesting topics for your content calendar. Okay, see, now that would be a game changer because right now I'm spending hours just trying to stay on top of it all. And then there's actually creating the content. Exactly. And that's where another agent could come in. Think of it like having like a whole team of AI copywriters, each one with its own style, you know, expertise in different areas. One might be great at tweets. Another one's killing it with Instagram captions. Okay. That sounds incredibly tempting. I'm not going to lie. Especially since finding good human writers is like a job in itself these days. Right. And the cool thing about platforms like Langchain is you can actually train these AI agents on your brand's voice and tone. So it's consistent across all your channels. So it's not just spitting out generic content. It's actually understanding my brand and my audience. OK, I'm starting to see the potential here. But what about those AI hallucinations everyone's talking about? Could these agents go rogue and start posting like inaccurate or even offensive stuff? That's a really important point, and it highlights why human oversight is still crucial, especially early on. These AI agents are getting smarter, sure, but they're still learning. You need a system to review and approve anything before it goes live, just like you would with a human team. So it's not about blindly trusting the AI. It's about using it as a tool, but with guidance. Exactly. Collaboration, not a complete handover. You're still mm -hmm. the captain steering the ship. But these agents, they're your crew handling the day to day. So you could focus on the big picture. I like that analogy. Makes it feel a lot less daunting. OK, but let's shift gears for a sec and talk about Microsoft's Copilot. Seems like it's trying to do a bit of everything, which is both exciting and kind of overwhelming. It's definitely ambitious. And it shows how AI agents are becoming more integrated into everything we do online. But you're right, a little skepticism is healthy, especially early on with these tools. Yeah, especially with those articles you sent talking about some of the issues they ran into during testing. It sounds like there are still some kinks to work out. Absolutely. New technology, right? There's always a learning curve, both for the people making it and D, the people using it. And it's important to remember these tools are only as good as the data they learn from. Flawed data, biased data, it all gets passed on. Good reminder that we have to think about the ethics of this too, not just the cool features. We have to make sure these agents are used responsibly. Exactly. That conversation needs to happen alongside the tech development for sure. But let's not lose sight of the potential here. Imagine your AI agent manages your social media, handles your email, schedules your appointments, even helps you with research, data analysis. OK, now you're talking about a future I can get excited about. But for entrepreneurs wanting to experiment with this, where do we even begin? What's the learning curve look like? The good news is there are more resources than ever. Platforms like Langchain, Autogen, Crew AI. They've got tutorials, documentation, even free trials to get you started. So you're saying you don't need to be a coding genius to at least dip your toes into this AI agent world? Not at all. And as this all keeps developing, these tools will only become more user friendly. Music to my ears. <laughs> but what about those of us who are still, you know, a little hesitant? What's a good first step? Start small. Think about the tasks in your business that are the most time consuming, repetitive, maybe prone to errors. Those are your prime candidates for AI automation. Once you've got those in mind, start exploring the platforms, the tools, see what fits your needs, your budget. So start small, think strategically, choose the right tools. Manageable, even for non-tech wizards like me. Exactly. Don't be afraid to experiment, learn as you go. The cool thing is this technology is always evolving, so there's always something new to discover. 
I love that, that spirit of continuous learning. That's what being an entrepreneur is all about. But before we get carried away dreaming about the future, let's bring it back down to earth for a sec. You mentioned companies like Indicium are already seeing real results with this. What kind of benefits are they actually experiencing? One of the biggest is efficiency, right? Automating those tedious tasks frees up their people to focus on the more strategic, creative stuff. Makes sense. Time is precious, right? Especially for entrepreneurs. If AI agents can give us some of that back, that's huge. Absolutely. And it's not just about saving time. It's about reducing those costly errors. Humans, we make mistakes, especially with repetitive things. AI agents, they can do that same stuff with much higher accuracy. So working smarter, not harder, with less risk of those errors costing us time and money down the line. Mm -hmm. What other benefits are we seeing out there in the real world? Improved decision making. That's another big one. Because these agents can analyze tons of data, right? way more than we can handle. They find those hidden patterns, the insights we might miss. So it's like having a data scientist on your team, even if you're a one-person show running things from your basement, right. which actually makes me think about some of those when we have agents ideas that felt a little, you know, way out there. Like you mentioned, creating that personalized learning platform for your industry. Could AI agents actually make that happen? Totally. Imagine, right, an AI agent that figures out what each learner already knows, how they learn best, then, BAM! It creates a custom learning path just for them. Articles, videos, maybe even interactive exercises. And it could adjust that path as they go based on their progress and feedback. That's next level personalization. Exactly. And it's not just solo learning either. These AI agents could connect learners with mentors, help with group projects, even create networking opportunities tailored to each person. Wow. Okay, now those big ambitious ideas suddenly feel a lot more attainable. It's not just about taking over tasks. It's about opening up possibilities we hadn't even thought of. But as excited as I am about all of this, I have to be honest, there's still a part of me that wonders about the human element. You know, that connection, that spark of creativity. Can AI agents really replicate that? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? And while these agents are getting really good at sounding human, mimicking our behavior, there's still something special, something unique about genuine human connection that AI hasn't quite cracked yet. At least, not that I've seen. Exactly. So much of what we do as entrepreneurs is about relationships, understanding people, and building something that truly resonates with them. Mm. And that takes empathy, intuition, that creative spark, qualities that are still very much in the human realm. Couldn't agree more. AI agents, they're powerful tools. But at the end of the day, they are just tools. It's up to us to use them wisely, ethically, and in a way that actually complements our human strength. Humans and DAI working together to build something incredible. I love it. But for anyone listening who's still feeling a bit overwhelmed, maybe unsure where to start, what's one piece of advice you'd give them? Don't overthink it. Just start experimenting. Pick one small thing, one task or problem that you think AI could help with. Try out those platforms, those tools we talked about. You might be surprised what you can achieve. It's all about taking that first step, right? Even a small one. And remember, this isn't a race with a finish line. The AI world is constantly changing, so the best thing you can do is stay curious, stay informed, and never stop experimenting. And with that, we've come to the end of our deep dive into AI agents. But remember, the conversation doesn't end here. Keep exploring, keep asking questions, and most importantly, keep dreaming big. Because with AI by our side, who knows what's possible. Future shapers, now you know, while true autonomous AI agents might be the future, we're still firmly in the babysitting phase. But hey, that's actually good news. It means you haven't missed the boat, and you can start preparing for when these technologies really mature. Until next time, this is Theodore, your AI reality check, reminding you that sometimes the best innovation is knowing when to wait. Stay curious.